Where are you from? It's an innocent enough question, but for me it was almost impossible to answer. At least, not concisely, the way some people could. I was born in the United States, my mother was from Ireland, and my father from Germany. They met in New York City and had me in Texas, and we lived there till I was six. Then we moved to Switzerland, then to the UK, then back to the US. When I returned to the States, age 11 or so, something felt off. I knew this country, I was from it, but if I was back home, why didn't it feel that way? Once I was out on my own, I kept moving, and it's where I learned there was a name for people with a nomadic childhood, third culture kids. My experience was decades ago. We wanted to hear from a new generation, in their own words. So, where are you from? I was born in Berlin um, and raised in Berlin. My family is originally from Sicily. Then they immigrated to the north of Italy and from the north of Italy they went to Berlin. Just my parents. I'm from Spain. So my dad is also Spanish, but my mom is half German, half Indonesian. Well, uh, depends on which part of my life we're talking. So I've been born in Łódź in Poland as my whole family. And I lived there till I was six years old. And then we moved to Hamburg, where I actually grew up my entire life, till I was uh, 18 years old. And then I moved to Heidelberg to start my studies, where I live so far. Uh, I'm from Bolivia. I'm um, from the city of Cochabamba. Uh, my family is also from Bolivia. Now I'm living in Germany, in Berlin. This year we had a school trip and they asked for my nationality and I have a double nationality, I have my Spanish and German. And I put that I had like the Spanish and German but they just erased the German. I just put the Spanish one and was a little bit bummed out. My entire childhood, I really missed Poland. And then I started my studies and it's like, okay, when do we go back and do I actually want to go back? I identify as Berliner. I'm excited to tell that um, I have d a different background and a complicated background. So I'm not ashamed of it. I'm proud of it, I would say. Yeah. So um, sometimes it can be a little bit maybe shocking um, for them to, you know, they, they, they remember me as a little kid and um, then they see me one or two years later and um, I'm a whole different person. Yeah, I mean, there is definitely a difference. Um, I, I, I can feel this. I can feel that I'm not um, living the same life they do. I can feel that I am um, part of a different community. Also, what makes me every time, like, I don't know, it makes me sad is that my parents don't speak German until now. And you can see that every time, every day, they are like more or less present. Um, and the only one there, uh, when we go out and they have to go to a doctor, to the bank, or just to buy food, I have to speak for them. So I kind of lost their voice. And also, I had, I had to grow up just like from one day and just to be more independent because in Bolivia I was always like, my parents were doing everything <laughs> for me. I always have this feeling of pure joy when I go back to Italy. And um, I thought to myself, why is that so? I always experience it as, as this kind of paradise playground uh, because I just went there to enjoy my life and all the responsibilities and, uh, you know, stressful things, I left them in Germany. Um, yeah, so I, I feel like, sometimes I feel like I'm a tourist in my hometown because I also take pictures of everything. Being Italian in Germany um, is quite a good thing, I have to say. I would say I, I am pretty lucky um, because, to be honest, I have this feeling that um, 
there's two types of uh, foreigners um, in the German culture. There is the good ones and the bad ones. When I talk about good ones, it's countries that Germans tend to romanticize. So um, whenever I talk about Italy or, or mention Italy, uh, they connect it to you know, good times, uh, beautiful, uh, a nice life, you know, good, uh, uh, good uh, restaurants, good food, and they just connect it to a positive feeling. I think like, or also there, run, <laughs> there was this one time where a guy just asked me, where are you from? I'm from Bolivia. And he was, oh, cocaine. And I was like, no, I mean, no. Even though there may be bad expectations and you're not a bad person, but still if everybody sees you as that, you become it at some point or another. A big shocker for me was um, when I went to my German friend's uh, house and I stayed for the night and um, at like 20 p.m. Uh, 8 p.m. Uh, his mother was calling us his mother was calling us and she said yeah let's um, let's eat dinner together so we went there and I saw on the table um, um, bread s uh, slices of uh, cheese um, and uh, like small carrots and stuff like that and I was like okay this is the appetizer and then the food comes um, but uh, no other food came so I had to eat bread and cheese as dinner um, at that day I also understood why it's called Abendbrot in Germany oh I think I'm still definitely that's very new to me uh, just say that my culture is a mixed culture and that I am creating it. Um, but I like the vision of that because it's full of liberties and uh, it allows me to really pick what I think is, is best. I've picked, you know, the good aspects, in my opinion, the good aspects of each culture and put them together. And also to free myself maybe from expectations or um, or like structures that would be posed upon me yeah I mean what you lose is maybe like the I mean the more mixed it is the less you can grasp it I would describe it as this <coughs> personal construct of mine of course it is a, a construct a construct which is evolving over time it's never you know it's never i've never reached the full potential of my of my culture and think okay now i won't change anymore so you maybe you would dive more intensely if you had just one identity or one cultural identity <clears throat> but uh, but on the other hand then you're also kind of trapped in it and now like having those two i can it's f more free, yeah. Cool. Um, uh, well. ah, a little bit messy, <laughs> I have to say. So, like, I have this negative part, but also, like, oh, maybe something great also. Like, yes. so my third culture will be like, yeah, there's a mess, but that's trying to keep it up, I don't know. Yeah. Where are you from? For some people, the answer is more of a story than a place. So, go ahead and ask, where are you from? Ask and enjoy the story. <laughs> <laughs>